hello welcome to my channel and if you're new here you're highly welcome to tasty city please consider subscribing and hit on that notification bell so in today's video we'll be making this gorgeous delicious vegetable soup if you like to see the cooking process then please stay tuned and keep watching For my protein of choice, I've got some beef, cow skin, and tripe. You may feel free to use any protein you prefer. And to begin this recipe, we'll start by cooking the protein. So I'll pour them now into a clean pot. And I'll also be using stock fish. This is cod, which I have soaked for about an hour thereabout just to soften it a bit. But you can feel free to use any stock fish you prefer. Next, I'll be adding one finely chopped onion. I'll also be adding some salt and beef seasoning powder, then mix very well, cover and allow to cook on a medium heat for about 10 or 12 minutes thereabouts. For my pepper mix, I'll be using four bell peppers, three scotch bonnet peppers. Please feel free to add the heat according to how much you can handle. And I'll also be using one onion bulb and I've got about four tomato plums. So I'm going to go ahead now and blend my pepper mix and set aside. For this vegetable soup recipe, I'll be using spinach. You can use any vegetable of your choice. And in here, I've got about six bunches. I'll also be using frozen spinach, which I've got somewhere in my sink, the frozen. So I'll be introducing that later. Here, I've got some baked or smoked mackerel already deboned and deskinned. You can use any fish of your choice. Here I've got some crayfish and for this recipe I'll be using locust beans. You can feel free to use any other local seasoning of your choice such as okwe or dawa dawa. This will add a local taste and also make the soup taste so delicious. Here with me I've got one medium sized onion bulb to fry the sauce and of course there is no vegetable soup without palm oil. Our proteins have been cooking for like 12 minutes thereabouts. Actually, I wanted to come in here and add some water, but <laughs> looking at the liquid or stock it has produced, I don't think we need more water. So all I'm going to do is just to give this a stir, then cover and allow to continue cooking on a medium heat for about 10 or 12 minutes thereabouts. Then I'll be back to take out the beef because the beef does not have the same um, cooking time as the rest of the meat. While that is cooking, I'll quickly chop my spinach and I have them already washed. I'll be chopping them into this chunky form, but feel free to chop yours how you want them to be. So here is the frozen spinach I was talking about a while ago. It is now completely defrosted and I have also taken my time to, you know, squeeze out all the excess liquid or water. Now you don't have to combine the both spinach. I'm adding the frozen one because I think I don't have enough of the fresh because I know it will wilt down um, a lot. And since I have the frozen one in the freezer, I decided to 
add it okay so at this point i'm going to be taking out the beef i'll be sending the beef to grill in the oven this step is totally optional you don't have to grill your beef if you don't want to but i choose to and i'll be grilling it in a preheated 180 c degree celsius oven for about 10 or 12 minutes thereabouts So after taking out the beef, I went ahead to debone the stock fish and also cut them into smaller chunks. At this point, I'm just going to add that in. I'll cover this up and allow to cook for additional 10 minutes. Now it is time to make our vegetable soup. In a clean dry pot, we are going to be adding about one cup of oil or add the oil according to the quantity of soup you're making next i've just added some chopped onion i'm going to fry or saute this for about three minutes at this point i'll be adding the locust beans next i'll be adding some of the blended crayfish and i'll reserve the rest for later use once that step is completed i'll saute for just 30 seconds Next, I'll pour in the pepper blend mixture and I'm going to be frying this on a medium heat for about 20 or 30 minutes thereabout, stirring periodically so it doesn't burn. Thirty minutes later and our sauce is nicely fried. I'm going to give it a stir then pour in the grilled beef. Next I'm going to be adding the rest of the meat and also a bit of the meat stock. Now I'm going to add blended crayfish, then mix well to combine and then test for salt and seasoning and adjust if needed. After that, we are going to cover this up, then allow all ingredients to marry each other for about 10 minutes. Oh god, it smells so delicious. The smell of the iru, that is the locust beans, is just everywhere. <laughs> Alright, so at this point, I'm just going to give it a quick stir, then I'll be adding in the frozen spinach first. Okay, so now I'm going to stir in the frozen spinach and once this step is completed, I'm going to start adding the fresh spinach bit by bit. Okay, so now we're going to go in with the fresh spinach. The pot might seem so small, but don't worry, it will wilt. Like this pot, we contain all the spinach by fire, by force. <laughs> So after adding and stirring in the spinach, the next thing I'm going to introduce in is the smoked mackerel fish and I'll allow this to cook on a high heat for just one minute and our vegetable soup will be ready. Please do not overcook and don't cover your pot too. <laughs> While doing this step, do not cover the pot otherwise the vegetable will release a lot of water and I'm sure you don't want that. Mm. 
just like that my beautiful people our vegetable soup recipe pair the soup with any swallow of your choice i hope you all enjoyed watching this video if you did please be sure to click the like button and subscribe if you are not yet already also hit on that notification post that way you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video so thank you all so so much for watching till i come your way next time with something delicious stay blessed and Bye for now.